What's happening, Shredder Nation? Happy Thursday. Happy day four to all of you who have embarked on a new journey for you. You raised your hand. You said, yes, you're on this mission. You're on this journey. Whatever that goal may be, happy day four. Today's your second day of a deep cellular intermittent fast and I guarantee you that very soon you are going to start feeling absolutely freaking amazing however if you don't feel that way today if you don't feel that way coming into tomorrow I just want to remind you that everything worthwhile in life everything worth a damn in life takes time takes work takes some sacrifice you got to pay the due before you can reap the reward like we say you got to pay your damn taxes right everybody likes to make a lot of money but you got to pay your taxes you got to do your time you got to do your due but anyways that's my short little message for you um i want to shift a little bit sorry for the bad lighting but i just got something that i thought about as i was kicking my own ass on my peloton ride this morning and i don't want to let these things go it's one of the commitments that i'm making to myself every time i think of these things i always forget them if i don't do them so short little break on the back of the truck the sun's hitting me weird so i apologize for that but anyways here's what i want you to remember you know we talked about this before where our main focus in the er shred is to teach you a lifestyle our main focus is to teach you how to become fat adapted now what the hell does that mean first of all if you're not sure what that means um, becoming fat adapted you only have two ways there's only two ways that your body can get its energy okay one of those ways is from glucose which is carbohydrates and sugars in all their forms and the other way that your body can get that energy that it needs to thrive every day and just perform is is become is from fat okay so there's only two ways now 90% of us we have come to the realization and we have been taught over time that carbohydrates are the way to go I will tell you not based off my opinion although that is very strong I will tell you just based off of my scientific research that I have done over the years and more importantly that I've done over the last 11 months now uh, or 10 months whatever it's been since we've really started diving into this I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt based off of research alone that the body wants to fuel itself off of fat however the body will always choose carbohydrates first if they're presented in the body. So, and the reason for that is very simple. We, and I, I've explained this before, but it's worth telling you again, uh, especially for the new people, we gotta keep repeating these, these basic things because that's how you got um, brainwashed in the first place to believe all the stuff that's not true. I wanna brainwash you, but I wanna brainwash you in a good way. I wanna brainwash you in a way that's actually legitimate fucking information that's going to help you take one step further every single day. Day. It's going to help push you along in a forward progress, in a forward momentum versus uh, what I call the guinea pig cycle, which is basically if you ever had a hamster or a guinea pig when you were when you were a kid, I had one of those. You know, they just get on their wheel and they're like. Whoa! and they run so fast and they don't fucking go anywhere and that's what I feel like people are doing when we follow these old systems so fat adapted or glucose okay now here's the thing if you fuel your body off of glucose that I want to use the analogy of a fire okay when you start a fire you first crumple up the paper and you put the paper down and then you layer very small thin twigs or sticks or split very very tiny pieces of wood and that's your kindling wood okay so that kindling wood ignites your fire that kindling wood you know when you light that paper and that fire finally catches the kindling wood you know ignites it's like this big burst of flame but how long does that last for how long does that first initial fire last for if you don't put any other fuel on the fire the fire will go out very very quickly and you would then have to recrumple paper restack your kindling wood and you'd have to relight your fire 
That is literally what you're doing every single day, day in and day out, multiple times throughout the day, if you're choosing to fuel your body off of garbage carbohydrates. So chips, pastas, wheat breads, white breads, all these flours, sugars, candies, sodas, um, you know, even organic triscuits, like all of that stuff. You're choosing to give your body a very short burst of energy and then it's, it's going to, to go out. Now that's what I call the fix. That's the fix method, okay? So you, you, you feed your body, your blood sugar rises, your body releases insulin, your pancreas releases insulin to combat that because the, the body always wants to be level. Trust me, the body does not want to be out, out of whack. It's not good when the body's out of whack. The body functions better when we keep it in check. So the body is always trying to do its checks and balances. You just don't understand because it's, you don't see what's going on on the inside. But the body is always doing that. It's always trying to regulate itself. And when you give it carbohydrates, what you're doing is you're saying, here's a short amount of energy and you're making it do things that it doesn't want to do. Especially if those choices of yours are bad things, like bad carbohydrates, bad sugars, bad flours, you know, stuff that's that's really a foreign substance to the body when it comes to fuel. You have to understand when I'm speaking to you, this is about fuel. You have to, when you choose food, I'm not eating food like majority of people where they say, you know, I just want that cinnamon bun. I don't fucking want the cinnamon bun. You might feel that you want it, you might think that you want it, but you don't actually need it. So when I look at food, it's not that I'm this like crazy psycho person that doesn't go out and have fun and doesn't eat and doesn't do things. It's just when I choose food, and I choose to go out or I choose where I'm at, restaurant, it doesn't matter where I'm at, I can always figure this out. I'm choosing food that's full of nutrients, that's full of density because I want long sustained amounts of energy. I don't wanna be a slave to food. I don't wanna eat and then two hours later, I'm like looking for my next fix. That's like a drug addict mentality. And that's what happens when we choose to eat the way that sadly we've been taught and majority of, of us as, you know, as people, that's what we're doing. We're, we're bombarded by this junk food. And I know you know that feeling, right? And then the feeling that you get when you do that, not only is there a very short amount of energy that you're actually providing the body to do its work. Now, mind you, you're giving it crappy food and you're saying, okay, here's your nutrition that you can use to heal, to make new cells, to, to fight disease, to make me feel better, to help me sleep better, to help me digest better, to help me be pain free. And, and you're expecting that from the body or, or realizing like, oh, I don't know why I have all of this. Well, you have all of that because you're abusing it. You're choosing this crap food that the body has zero nutritional value to use and it can't use it for that. You're giving it fake energy basically. Do you understand? Like, I hope I made this point very clear because if you understand this concept, it's going to help you make better choices. And that's what this is all about. It's learning and then making better choices. Learning and making better choices. Learning and making better choices. And, and you can, that doesn't mean it's perfect. It's not perfect. It's never perfect. It's not about perfection. My gosh, if you're striving for perfection, good luck finding it. It's not, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I spent years, you know what I did? I ruined my life. I ruined years of my life searching for this fake fucking perfection that I thought was real because of what was, was out there. It doesn't exist. So realize that you're choosing foods. I'm in someone's neighborhood. I'm fired up right now. I gotta shh. But anyways, you're choosing foods for the purpose of just feeling good. So you're choosing carbohydrates, giving it short amounts of food. You're choosing fat. That's like putting a log on the fire. Now, what happens when you put a log on the fire? Does the fire, does the log ignite as fast as the kindling? Does it ignite as fast as the newspaper? No, it takes a minute for the energy to start to, to, to build. It takes a minute for that bigger log to catch on fire. But what happens once that catches on fire? magic happens. You get sustained fire for long periods of time. You then would get sustained amounts of energy from switching your body to becoming fat adapted versus 
choosing to fuel on short kindling wood. Do you understand? That's the reason that you want to do this. That's why you don't want to stop at 11 days. That's why you're choosing to make it a lifestyle. And that doesn't mean that it happens tomorrow. Stop, stop, stop with the nonsense, fake goals that you're setting yourself up for failure. This isn't about a race. This isn't about that. It takes a minute for the log to light on fire. It's going to take a minute for your body to appreciate and understand the switch because you've just spent fill in the blank how many years doing it one way and now you're asking it to completely shift itself. Even though it's the way the body wants, even though that science proves that 90% of our body can thrive off of fat. It doesn't need carbohydrates. There are no essential carbohydrates in existence on the face of this planet. It doesn't mean that they can't be used wisely though. I need you guys to understand. Do you start to see how I think? Like I'm not demonizing these things. It's just that they, they, they have to have a certain place. And, and if you're not where I'm at, no worries. I've been doing this for 20 years for crying out loud. You have to take the time to get yourself there. But why would you not want logs burning on your fire? Why would you want to keep having to crinkle the newspaper and, and, and find the kindling wood and build the fire over and over and over and over and over again when you can just choose to put bigger logs on, the right kind of wood. There's certain woods that burn better than other woods. Why would you not, if you made the mistake and chose the wrong wood and it put your fire out, would you put the same wood back on the fire after you rebuilt it again? If you did, I would think that you, that's the definition of insanity. Well, that's what we're doing with our health. That's what we're doing when we're choosing those kinds of foods. Do you understand? That's the bigger purpose of what we're talking about here. It's not about the, 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 the petty, you know, physical look and physical appearance. This is deeper shit that we're talking about. This is stuff that can drastically change your cellular health. This is stuff that will allow your body to go back inside and heal itself if it needs healing. This is life changing if you choose to just go through the process. So how is this gonna help you? Let's wrap this up and, and close this out here. How does this help you with what I told you I'm gonna tell you? Choosing the right kinds of food, choosing the right kinds of fuel for your fire, hopefully I've made that point very, very clear. Hopefully you now understand why I choose to live fat adapted versus why I no longer wanna be a slave like I was in the past to complex carbohydrates and carbohydrates that are packed with nutrition and blah, 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 blah. I spent so many years doing that. I don't ever want to go back there again. Are you kidding me? Why would I do that? This is so much easier. This is so much better. I feel so alive. I feel so alive and I did not feel alive, but I feel even more alive every single day. And I want you to feel that with me, okay? But how can this help you when it comes to your meals? Last night I did a live, I talked to you about not being scared of food, not being scared to eat until you're satiated, not being scared to eat until you feel full. And I appreciate that some of you are cleansing. Don't you dare come on my comments and say, oh, I'm cleansing today. Suck it up, buttercup. You're doing it for your health. Everybody that needs this message has already been there before and you're paying your taxes. So I don't wanna hear that crap. Take the information and bring it with you forward. That being said, how does this help you? Because if you understand this concept, you know, when you gorge yourself on pizza or pasta or, or crappy carbohydrates, you know how you get that feeling of full? I know you know what I'm talking about. Like I'm not in, like every human being feels this, right? Like we work the same. So you get that feeling of full, but then you just get that like, oh my God, I want to suck my thumb, crawl in a ball and just die in the corner for like 10 minutes. It's that feeling of bloatiness. It's that feeling of like lethargic. It's like, oh, right? Like you just don't feel it. 
But when I eat my massive dinners, when I have my ribeye and my three scrambled eggs with my two tablespoons of butter and my three pieces of bacon and my entire avocado and my sauerkraut and my stuffed pepper with prosciutto and, and, and cheese, that is literally, and oh, my hot dog that's mixed into my, uh, my eggs, that is literally almost what I eat every single day in some way, shape, or form or fashion. That's just my dinner. Never mind my breakfast, my snacks, my food throughout the day. I'm constantly putting the best logs on my fire so I can feel like this all day, every day, no matter what, no matter what. 41 going on 12, baby, right? Physically and maybe mentally too. <laughs> but anyways, that's why I do it. That's why I do it. That's why I want you to do it. For no other reason besides that euphoric feeling. For no other reason. So when you're sitting down to eat, do not be scared of good quality food. It's your log. It's not your kindling. You're not choosing to fill your body with crappy wood. You're choosing to fill your body with quality wood that's gonna give you sustained amount of energy for long periods of time. Now in that process, 11 days, 21 days, 33 days, 40 days, 60 days, one year, whatever it is, you're going to be continuously shifting, continuously getting better, continuously making your body more of the epic machine that you were designed to be in the first place. You're going to continually get better. And that's why you can't quit. That's why consistency trumps everything else. You got to show up every single day if you want to get to the end result. How do I know I'm fat adaptive? Trust me, you'll know. You're not a slave to food anymore. You, you eat until you're full. And then it's hours until you have to eat again. And then you eat again like a king or queen. And you put more of that quality wood on the fire that sustains you for not an hour period of time, for not an hour and a half period of time. I'm talking hours at a time. And you can do, you can do uh, very crazy physical things. Trust me, I, I test my body, I put it to the limits. The body is so magnificent. I didn't always feel this way though. But now that I do, I will never let it go. And I just wish that you could experience a freaking sliver of what it is to get there. And I don't think I'm there because there's never a there. That's stupid of me. I'm always learning. I always want to be a better human. I always want to get better. There's always somebody better. There's always something to learn. There's always, there's always ways to grow. But it's got to start with your health too to get your mind and your body and everything else back in check. So that's my message for today. I hope that helps so many of you that are posting, I don't know how much to eat. I don't wanna, I don't wanna eat overeat because I'm gonna get fat. You are not going to get fat if you're putting the right wood on the fire. You're not going to. And for those of you that are just starting, just follow the freaking protocol. Follow the protocol. Trust me, I am very passionate about this. I will fight it till the end. I believe it can work for every single human being because we're all designed the same way on the inside. We don't look the same, we're not the same color, none of that's the same. But on the inside, we're all identically the same. We are equal. We are freaking equal as human beings. We are equal as human beings. And if we just appreciate that and understand that, we can all thrive. We can all thrive. Man, I hope you have an amazing day. As you can see, it is absolutely freaking beautiful here today. There's no rain, the temperature, the humidity. I hope you all have an epically amazing, awesome day today. Trust yourself. Love yourself. Do the work. And I promise you, I promise you, the results on the end of the hard work that you're willing to put in is going to pay off in dividends that you literally have only dreamed about so far. That's how awesome this feeling is. I love you all. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here. Thank you for saying yes to yourself. Tell yourself that as well. Tell yourself you love yourself today because you deserve to do that. That is why we choose to do this. Have an awesome day, friends. Talk to you soon.